sorry guys. Made it down, took some pictures. Um, yeah, looks like I got another project in the works. Again. Shouldn't be too bad, I just need to clean that up, cut it. Splice a piece of wood in there, maybe a 1x6 or something, or 2x6 in there to support that. I hope it's not too bad. Bye bye. Just wanted to do another video. I have to cut this stupid tree down because it's bugging me. So when something bugs you, you cut it down. Anyway, alright guys, won't get into that. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. And that's all I got. Subscribe, comment. Let me know if you guys want to see a video of that or if you guys just want me to just to do it. Anyway, I'm going to go in the house, dehydrated, wore out, and uh, wore out. Alright, see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Later. Alright, so, got some wood, got some stuff. I think they're sharp. Use a little baby hammer. So I got these little stabby things. Straps, wood straps. Ended up having to cut a taper into the wood. And I'll show you in a second. Um, I do have that whole strip undone from that end of the awning to probably the antenna. Um, see how talented I am. Oh jeez, I don't think it's going to be that talented today. Something's going to fall. It's either going to be me or a camera. Or a hammer. Or everything. Alright, I've got these. Watch the hammer hit me in the head. These things are sharp, that's why I couldn't... I couldn't climb. Anyway, let's get up here. I'm telling you, this little ladder's hokey. Hokey dokey. Alright. Okay, this is what I got. So I replaced the wood there to there. The uh, studs and headboard that were under there. They weren't rotted. There was a little bit of rot right in here. But, uh, it's all good. Um, so I just took some 2x2. Two 2x2 two. Two two right there. And then butted it in and then nailed it to the existing. Same thing here. Same thing here. And then, uh, we have these little straps. Which are these which kind of mimic those. So, oh man. So now I gotta, I gotta do this side without hitting the power line, the power wire. Um, so, basically I'm just bringing it, bringing it until it matches, which is, bit forward which is right a little bit forward not too much so I'm bringing it to there and then I take a nail gun two nails and then uh, what I'm gonna do with these straps is, is I'm gonna try to tie these two pieces of wood together um, so it has more, more support right here, and then, uh, yeah, and then I'll have to cut some plywood and get some more insulation. I got some insulation in the garage. Um, so far, so good. Um, there was a, about a million staples. All these holes are staples, 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 nails, staples all through that. The siding trim. Um, kind of a pain in the butt, but I'm going to be doing the same thing. So I got about 
200 staples and I smell fire pretty good so anyway I'm gonna get to it and then uh, I did end up buying some seal some RV seal and uh, that I'm probably just gonna seal over this clean all this crap off clean all that up um, ordering this cover the little uh, water covers and uh, probably gonna buy some sealer and because uh, I couldn't find anything for sealer I am gonna use some Henry's sealer on this wood joint um, where I put the plywood on I'm just gonna put a bead there and then I, you know some here some here some there down there and around here and then I bought some wrap some uh, like window wrap and uh, I'm gonna use that so I'm not gonna take this old stuff out even though I probably should but this old stuff might be holding it together better than new stuff so I'm not gonna deal with it so anyway let me get to work I'll be back all right guys it's turning into an all-day event so I ended up putting the metal straps there Putting a couple metal straps here. Got my new insulation. Got my piece of wood cut. Got some Henry's sealant. Ended up stapling these on so that the wood will have something. So this way I can just go around this whole the whole perimeter with the seal. And uh, this way I can staple it all the way down. So I'm gonna mark where I could staple it um, and then uh, yeah put this on and then uh, I got this moist top stuff DuPont flashing that I'll uh, wrap the edges with and I'll probably wrap I'll just wrap it in the meantime until I get the seal that stuff sticks pretty good that stuff's the same membrane as this stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lap it Kind of like how uh, shingles are. Since this rolls, I'm gonna wrap. I'll run that string there. Run one on top. Run one on top, and then run one on top, and then uh, go from there. So let me uh, put it all on. Got the staple gun, the grinder to uh, finish off some edges of the wood. So let me do this. It's getting a little breezy. I'll be back. Alright guys, it's getting a little windy. So there we have it. It's all strong. Stand on it. Walk on it. Do whatever I want with it. Anyway, uh, I was going to put some of this on there, but... Sorry for the wind. Put some of that seal on there and uh, maybe tomorrow I'll come out, wipe it down, wash it, and then uh, put some of that seal, some of that stuff on it. But for now, I'm just probably going to leave this up here. Oh, I'll leave this up here. The weight of it shouldn't unravel. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it. Wasn't too bad. Just a nightmare. Now hopefully I can find all them tools. But all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like. And then when I get all done with it, I'll come back up here, show, do a quick little video. I'm gonna go. Because I don't like the wind in my videos. See you guys on the next one. Power lines. Peace out. Later.